Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Gentleman's Talk. Today I'm in a coffee shop. Like a lot of times. It's a beautiful day. Right, just right before sunset. And it's it's really pretty today. It's, uh, it's hot, like what, 70 degrees? And it feels warm and nice. And just uh, almost spring, spring here. So looking for that. Um, still cold a little bit at night time, but um, it's, it's, it's good. And um, I know I know the time changing is gonna come out um, March the 13th. So um, it's gonna it's coming up. So time um, day will be longer and night will be shorter again. So I think uh, they call it the spring. Uh, timing if I'm not mistaken or summer timing spring timing I don't know but it's it's gonna go back and being uh, the day will be longer and night will be shorter which is fine with me today smoking my uh, falcon pipe now this is the extra bent and uh, with uh, the L02 ball. This is called the Hunter ball. So with that, and in it, smoking. Ah, uh, man, I love Boswell Christmas cookie. One of definitely one of my favorite tobaccos. Definitely something I have to have. Um, in my opinion, I like it more than Boswell's best. Similar taste, but I like it more personally so I think uh, that's what I'm gonna get more in the future still gonna get Boswell's best when I run out but still I think this is something really good and I believe it, it uh, has a brown flavoring and uh, this is uh, the tobacco that I made mainly made the video for when I was concerning about alcohol and stuff like that so I was enjoying I, I mean I mean I am still but at that time I was enjoying this tobacco too much that I was afraid that alcohol can be an issue but I'm glad uh, it's not uh, according to answers and my research it turned out to be the alcohol was not there so mm. for some reason uh, today this tobacco is it's just it's there it's giving me the best um, time smoking this tobacco ever. I think I'm, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time I'm smoking this tobacco in this pipe, in bowl. Um, I, I've been smoking Boswell's this year a lot, but I don't know if that's the case or, or what, but it's a great, great smell today. It's just sweet, delicious. And of course, I'm pairing it with black coffee that uh, it's in behind my phone. I, I forgot my uh, tripod today, so I'm just, um, putting or leaning the phone against the, the coffee cup. I want to uh, get the Mersham wall for this, and I uh, think that's gonna be my next move. I really want the Mersham one, so looking forward to that. So, the YTBC pipe smoking community or YouTube pipe smoking community. It's something great and it's something beautiful and I'm glad it's, it's there and I'm glad I'm, I've been uh, uh, part of it since day one and I'm glad I'm presenting because it's something I really enjoy to do and it's fun. Man, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Um, so, why PPC? There are two kind of people in here. Prisoners and non-prisoners, not audience, let's call them. And uh, the, the people who present, I also um, put them in two categories. Uh, people who present uh, information so that they teach you how to smoke a pipe. They uh, uh, give you information about how this, how to do this, how to do that, and also pipe reviews and tobacco reviews and uh, if I'm not mistaken, like they, their main uh, content is just to deliver a message and that's it. And uh, the other group is 
people who just like me who love to uh, just turn on the camera and start talking and I'm I guess in also many of us um, just turn on the camera start talking and just share whatever information they have or they just want to talk about life uh, they find something interesting that they want to share with you so in, in summary like these people they just come here to talk and chat and this is why uh, what I'm considering myself uh, I'm considering myself one of these uh, people and, and this I, I will fit in this group not because I'm here to sh just chat and have fun I talk to you guys doesn't mean I, I will not share information or talk about uh, pipes and and uh, tobacco reviews that's not the case but the main goal of the channel is just to chat with you and talk to you guys and know you better and deliver uh, just kind of you know a daily uh, view of, or vision of my life or something like that so so as soon as I picked my first pipe and then decided to um, smoke it I went to YouTube, YTPC. This is how I learned how to pack my tobacco in the pipe and um, how to light it and how to do this and how to do that. And of course, I start watching Mutton Chunder Piper, Mutton Chunk Piper. And this is like my main guy that I used to watch. At that time, he took a break. So uh, I was kind of upset that I was watching videos that I might not see in the future because I don't know, I wasn't sure if he was going to come back or not. But I'm glad he's back now. And I watch a lot of different people, of course. And, um, and then later on, I decided to present. That's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I learned, I learned a lot of good information. And now, learning all this kind of information kind of built me a foundation. This foundation really great for me to start to start my journey um, my journey started a year and almost a year and a half ago and since then I just enjoying every single day I'm, I'm smoking and uh, I'm just enjoying the whole journey and uh, I make this video for for, uh, for a reason um, this is my way what I've been doing and I just thought to share it with you guys and see maybe someone is sharing the same path with me or someone doing different uh, walking a different path I'm just sharing my path and this is just my opinion okay so started watching YouTube's uh, YTPC videos and building the foundation of, of uh, pipe smoking and all that and after that, um, I just, you know, naturally, I found myself just practicing doing a lot of different things. Like, uh, I know some people, will, will, when they learn something, they just go with what, uh, whatever they learn. Um, I felt the opposite. Not just on the pipe smoking and tobacco smoking. No, it's just something I, I've been doing since I was a kid. Everything someone told me something, uh, I will accept it. Um, respectfully accept it even if I know 100% is wrong or I have a different opinion about it I still accept it, I listen and I smile and I will just take it as an opinion so when it comes to pipe smoking it's the same thing, I just take everything I listen um, that's what I've been doing in YTPC so like I said I build my foundation but also I get my or I gain or have my uh, I gain my own experience and I have my own journey if I'm gonna take someone's journey I will never have my own journey if I'm gonna take someone experience and just rely and go on that person opinion I will never have my own journey so since day one I it's a habit of me and that's what I also decided is I'm just gonna have my own journey I'm just gonna since I built my foundation I'm just gonna explore and see how it goes uh, that means if someone said well aromatic is the best the English is not good 
I will not believe that. If someone says uh, English is the best, aromatics not good, I will still not believe that, and so on. If someone told me this is the only way to clinch a pipe, this is the only way to smoke a pipe, or to back a pipe, or to do whatever, I will say thank you for your uh, opinion and thank you for sharing that, but I have to figure this myself. So I've been doing this and I, I've been learning a lot and it's crazy how pipe smoking is just not just a pipe you smoke and that's it. It's literally a journey. Uh, I've been discovering a lot of things every day, every time and learn stuff. So um, there's a lot of good information that I just discovered myself and I bet you 100 years if someone treats it to me I will not even know about it until I, I have to encounter that thing. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the main stuff I was not, I was like, in the beginning I was not sure about and I thought it's kind of like people just being too much about resting your pipe, let it rest, and let the moisture out so you can have a smoke, good smoke next time you smoke. I was like, man, nah, that's some, um, eh, I don't want to do that. Let me just smoke this pipe every day and see. Well, with experience and, and practicing this, I have realized that if this thing is true, well, I'm talking about Briar Pipes, I, that's the um, Briar Pipes, let's, let's stick with Briar Pipes. I haven't tested that yet with uh, Mershams or um, uh, or uh, Corn Cups or Clay or whatever. Uh, but I assume it, it might be a similar um, situation, so let's let's assume that for now, until I discover it myself. So Briars have to really rest in order for it to give you a, ple a pleasant or uh, pleasure smoke. Uh, I learned this for a fact because one day I just packed my tobacco and that pipe and I smoked it. it was so good. Next day I tried to do the same exact method, same thing, same, same environment, same technique, same everything and it turned out to be the worst smoke I ever tried in my life or smoked in my life and I was like no that's that's terrible why and then later on I mean, with time, I've been practicing this and doing that and different pipes and I just came to the conclusion is I have to rest my pipe. Well, how long you have to rest your pipe, that depends on you. Um, it's from my experience and yours is going to be different. So maybe I will, if I rest my pipe for a day, it will be enough for me. Maybe if two days will be enough for me. I mean, that's all up to you. Some people will uh, experience the same original taste of the tobacco maybe after several uh, several uh, cannot speak to several days some people after a week but me personally I will give it three to four week days um, I would not see myself waiting a, a whole week to smoke a, the same pipe to smoke, uh, to smoke the same pipe so for example if I smoke this today I would not see myself after a week smoke it again maybe three to four days um, that's what I discover also another thing that i discovered and i am 100 percent sure about it uh, i don't smoke the same pipe twice well because not because i'm picky about it because for real it's not the same taste it's not the same smoke even though i clean my pipe after every single smoke i, I switch my filters i um i use Two, um, I use two kind of two two uh, pipe filters. I use the soft one, and uh, one has uh, kind of I don't know, forget the name of it, but the one has like kind of harsh uh, texture to it. That it's like a brush. So I use two, sometimes more than that if I need to, but I don't I don't see myself use more than that. One uh, to clean uh, the pipe, and then one to just kind of take the moisture out. And same thing for the stem. Um, so I, I use this every single smoke. After a smoke, I let it rest. Take the pipe, uh, take the pipe apart, clean it, throw the filter out because filters are so e uh, cheap to get, it's so easy to switch. Same thing for pipe cleaner. I just use them. Does not mean I'm gonna use five, ten pipe cleaners because they're cheap or filters. No, I will just be reasonable with it. So two to three is enough. But yeah, I mean, I tried to, uh, I did this, I cleaned my pipe, and after a few hours, I decided to smoke it again with the same tobacco. Like I said, on, on briars, it did not work for me. 
it was uh, terrible. All it is is like burnt, tar, smoke, not smoke, but it's like, it, uh, you know, like when you smoke your tobacco all the way to the bottom, you know that taste. That's what I get most of the bowl. So I was, I just ended up not even finished the bowl. So third thing I learned about pipe smoking, I always was afraid of real light. Uh, when I talk about real light, I'm talking about real light after it dies and real light after a while. I see some people, they just talk and let the pipe rest and get cold and then re they uh, relight it. And I always afraid to avoid doing that because in my head, if I relight a tobacco after let it sit for like two or three hours, I will not get that pleasant taste. Um, in my experience and in my opinion, like that's something I, I figured out in my opinion or my experience that it's fine. I let the tobacco sit for like one time I just, you know, I was in a hurry. I, I just smoked the pipe. No, I wasn't in a hurry, but I, something happened and I ended up being in a hurry. Let my pipe on, uh, I put my pipe on the table, left, came back after four hours, light it up again. And it tastes not like uh, the beginning of the bowl, but it's, it continues. So the, t it, the taste that I was getting is wherever I lift it. It does not make sense. So it's not like way when you uh, just pack the tobacco and it's not all the way when never you're gonna finish the, the the bowl no it's literally where you left it so it continues and that kind of surprised me i was not expecting that also something i learned is uh um something i really learned and I, it was really a big deal for me is how how um how you light your pipe you light it like with just matches. You light it with jet uh, lighter, which is, uh, in my opinion, that's kind of silly, and I will never do that. Even if I'm in a windy situation, I'll just use Zippos. I will never use that on my pipes for many reasons. First of all, I respect my pipes. I don't want to burn them. I uh, I really respect this piece of art. I'm not gonna ruin my piece of art or disrespect it by shooting flames that literally can burn the, the ball within like a few seconds. And to me, that's kind of disrespectful and I don't like to see it. I mean, you do you, you do whatever you want. I'm not gonna judge you, but that's my opinion about my stuff. So if you use that, you will just get a burn the tobacco and you're gonna get this different taste versus if you just gonna use hemp um, wick or like a lighter or a match, you get softer or the real taste of the tobacco, in my opinion. Um, the easier you light the pipe or the tobacco, the, easy, the, the more of the flavor you get. In my experience, that's what I've been uh, discovering. Uh, especially with Virginia's, I will never like have, so I'm all, I understand about you have to get the amber going and all that, but that's, in my opinion, is not the case. As long as the tobacco is going for me, I don't have to have the amber, I because I always can rely. So why I'm gonna force burning the tobacco since the beginning. I just just take it take it easy, take my time. And I just do it, you know, with time. Especially with Virginia's. And this is why um but also this is why I hated Virginia's in the beginning because I was uh, skinning dark to me. Let me adjust this. Hold on. Okay. There you go. This is how, how why I hated Virginia's in the beginning because it was so um it was so harsh and I, all I'm getting is this burn taste of the tobacco because I was just making sure the amber is going and I end up just burning tobacco and all this milk is just, just uh, you know, just burnt tobacco. So I, I figured that every time I take my time and just light up the tobacco easily and soft and I take my time because I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm here to smoke, to relax and enjoy. I don't have to make the bowl flaming hot in order for me to smoke it. I don't also notice when you make that bowl uh, or you light the tobacco more and make it hotter and get that amber going, especially with Burley's, you get that nut, nuttiness or the nut taste of the tobacco. So if that's what you want to taste, go for it. 
So I'm not saying it's wrong to have the amber going, no. But it all depends on what kind of taste you want to get out of it. I notice, like I said, with aromatics and Virginia's, when I do light, light burn, I get more of the taste of the tobacco. With Burley, kind of like, same idea, but also it's more forgiving because uh, I still, regardless, I still get that nuttiness or the nut taste of the tobacco. And so when you have it, the amber is going hot. You still get, you still, you still get this taste, but it's like uh, double the, the uh, it's like plus two, like not plus two, uh, multiply by two. So that's that's uh, something I discovered. Uh, your experience could be 100% be uh, different than me. So. That's, I'm sharing you my experience and maybe someone will have similar experience maybe we'll have some maybe some people will have different ones who knows but that's fine and I, I thought to share it with you guys and this is why I call this video is the organic experience of pipe smoking you have to taste that you have to experience it just just don't listen and just do whatever people say and don't buy this tobacco get this tobacco this one is bad this one is good because you are missing out you could you i'm not gonna lie sir walter raleigh the only tobacco so far that i got more than four pounds of it i mean in the beginning i was like man it's an over-the-counter tobacco it's not gonna be as good as the mcbaron stuff and you know all, all that good brands i was wrong the only tobacco I got seven. I mean, I wish if I they have the twelve, uh, not twelve, the sixteen ounce, which is one pound. I will uh, tobacco. I will get that the ten. But I only found seven pound. Uh, no, seven pound. Seven ounces. That's what I got, and it's one of the cheapest tobacco that I ever bought. So don't miss out. Create your own journey. Learn. Um, experience everything. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's the big part. Um, always try yourself to know what works for you, not for someone else. So that's why I call this video the organic experience about tobacco or tobacco because it's just natural way of um, consuming this tobacco or the natural way of learning and getting experience out of it. And uh, I hope your journey is similar to mine because I'm enjoying mine and I hope you are enjoying yours as much as I am even if it's not on the same path. Been yakking for 25 minutes, almost. If I'm not editing this video, uh, because I I uh, dropped the phone and whatever, so I'm probably gonna edit that part. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Gonna enjoy smoking my Falcon with uh, Boswell's Christmas cookie, drinking my black coffee. I'm, I cannot even reach it now because, like I said, I'm using it as a tripod. I don't want to sip so. Anyway, I'll, get, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.